After the first year and a half of the war, which was very difficult for the USSR, when huge territories were lost, a point of no return occurred in Soviet-German confrontation. And in the winter and spring of 1943, after the victory at Stalingrad, the Red Army began to push westwards. Although the German forces were still strong, the course of the war had completely changed. The Germans retreated, and the Red Army started liberating occupied territories. In the liberated territories, Railways were restored and gradually peaceful life started to come back. Faced with the need to replenish the locomotive fleet of railways, the Soviet government turned to its ally in the anti-Hitler coalition, the United States for help. According to the Lend-Lease Military Assistance Program, orders were placed at American factories to build freight locomotives for coalition allies. Lend-Lease is a state program under which the United States of America supplied its allies in the World War II, including the USSR, with weapons, equipment, food, medicines, raw materials and so on. In Russian Railway Museum, right next to the EA-2201 locomotive, you can see boxes which, as a rule, contain food delivered by the Lend-Lease program. Program. On April 10, 1943, Joseph Stalin signed resolution on ordering and importing steam locomotives and rails from the United States for the People's Commissariat of Railways in 1943-44. According to this decree, USA was obliged to deliver 1,000 locomotives in 1943 and 2,000 locomotives in 1944 to the Soviet Union. It was planned to order either the EL series locomotives or the Decapod locomotives that were being built in the United States at that time. If it wasn't possible to supply a thousand brand new locomotives from America in 1943, it was ordered to agree to supply decaport locomotives from those already in operation in America, with their conversion to the 1524mm track. Decaport locomotives later received the name EA series. To speed up completion of the order for new locomotives, Soviet specialists took as a basis the project of the EL locomotive, which was already brought to Russia from the United States in the beginning of the century. Several hundred of these locomotives have proven themselves well over 25 years of service on Russian railways. The new locomotives differed in appearance from their predecessors. A later enhanced version was named EM. The engine power of the EA and EM locomotives roughly corresponded to the Soviet SO series and equaled around 2,200 horsepower. The EA-2201 locomotive, which is now located in Russian Railway Museum, was the first locomotive of this series delivered to the Soviet Union from the United States. American factories Elko and Baldwin started building EA locomotives in early 1944. The very first steam locomotive, EA-2201, built by the Baldwin factory, was brought to the USSR in 1944. Supplies of EA and EM locomotives were made from the United States to the Soviet Union through the ports of Murmansk, Molotovsk, Vladivostok and Odessa. Locomotives on ships were transported both assembled and disassembled. Final assembly of locomotives was carried out in large depots. This very locomotive, EA-2201, arrived to the port of Murmansk on a ship via one of the famous polar convoys. The locomotive was immediately sent to the Butova ring of the Central Railway Research Institute, Sherbinka Station, Moscow region, for testing. Tests have shown that due to the use of mechanical coal supply system and a rainforest steam superheater, the power of the EA series locomotive has increased compared to the power of the EL locomotive by 20 to 25 percent. In the early period of use, a significant part of these locomotives worked in the European part of the USSR. Some of the locomotives worked in the steam locomotive columns of the Special Reserve, which were formed for military purposes. Later, since 1950s, the vast majority of locomotives were operated on the railroads of Siberia and the Far East. The EA-2201 steam locomotive successfully worked until 1968 in different parts of the country. After that, it was sent to the reserve base Vyazimskaya. The locomotive was gifted to the Central Museum of the October Railway in 1992. In 2001, it was moved to the exhibition at the former Warsaw Railway Station in St. Petersburg. Operation of the EA and EM locomotives was mostly finished in the mid-1960s with the transition to diesel and electric traction. Few locomotives were used for local work until the early 1990s. EA and EM locomotives were very popular with locomotive crews due to their reliability and ease of operation. These locomotives were given nickname American. Because of the origin of these locomotives, many legends surrounded them. 
Each locomotive that came had a watch for the driver and the uniforms for the entire crew. Surely there is no evidence to prove these legends. Another interesting page in the history of EA series locomotives was their conversion to a 1435mm track with the installation of a smaller chimney and an automatic hitch of the John A system. Several dozens of these locomotives were stored on transport tramps at reserve bases near the borders of China. A set of wheel pairs of 1435mm track was located on a platform attached to each locomotive. In total, during the war and after its end, more than 2,000 locomotives of these series were delivered from the United States. Some of them were delivered not only under land lease program, but also under trade agreements. During World War II, these locomotives worked both in the rear and in the front line railroads. Later, some design and engineering solutions were used in the post-war Soviet locomotive construction.